Welcome to the Foam Burner Training. This is the Don't Be Complicated Training Series. I'm your host, Jeff Osnes. If you want to reach out to me, by all means, send me an email, jeff at foamburner.com. In today's topic, we're going to talk about Smart Sender. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This video is going to focus on the Smart Sender feature. To access this, we go to the Smart Sender tab up at the top. Before we get into the how-tos regarding Smart Sender, let's first talk about what Smart Sender is. Smart Sender is a feature that allows you to deliver documents, videos, audios, images, or links to contacts and track whether or not they access those. Very similar to the way attachments work, only much better because now you're actually going to be able to track whether or not somebody accesses those files. Anything that you would typically want to attach to an email, you would now use the Smart Sender to send it. So think of the Smart Sender feature as a better way to send attachments. Now that you know a little bit about what Smart Sender is, let's add a resource. So we're going to click on the Add Resource button. On the Add a Resource page, you'll see that there are five types of resources you can add. A document, an image, video, audio, or a link. In this particular training, I want to show you how to add a video. So we're going to click on the Video option. And you'll see in Step 2 where you can select a video that you've previously uploaded. In this particular case, I'm not going to choose one that I've previously uploaded. I want to show you how to add a new video to the system. So I'm going to click on Add a New Video. Here I'll see a list of all of my existing videos. And I'm going to click on the Upload a Video button. Now the first thing I need to do is give the video a title. And then I'm going to choose the file I want to upload. And then I just click the Upload button. Now that our video has been successfully uploaded, we're ready to continue to add that resource to the system. So I'm going to click on the Smart Sender tab, go back to the Add Resource button, I'm going to select the Video option again, and now when I go to Step 2 to select the video, I'll see the new Using Tags video that I just uploaded available as an option. So I'll select that. Then I can go down to step three. You'll see the title was already added based off the title of the video. And I just need to add a quick description. And the last option before I add this resource is to choose a category. You don't have to choose a category, but you do have that option. You can choose an existing category that you've already added. So I'm going to go ahead and select my training series category. Or you can add a new category by clicking on add a category. I'm going to create a new category called Management and hit the Create Category button. You can now see that this resource is assigned to two categories, Training Series and Management. Now I just need to click on Save and you'll now see that this resource has been added to the list of resources in my account. Now that we've added a resource, let's talk about this particular page that we're on right now. Over on the left hand side, you're going to see the option to filter your resources. This allows you to filter what you're viewing in this main section. And by default, this main section is going to show you all of your resources. Now that we've got some resources added to the system, let's create a pack. Before we talk about creating a pack, let's talk about what a pack is. A pack is a bundle of resources that you send as one link. You may want to create a training series. In this particular case, I'm going to create a training pack that I can send out to existing phone burner clients to help train them on how to better use the phone burner system. So I'm going to click on the Create Pack button. So the first step in creating a smart pack is to set the title. So in this particular case, I'm creating a training pack. I'm going to call it Phone Burner Training Series Number 1. And now I can give it a quick little description. Now that I have my title and description, I can go down to Step 2. I can choose a category, but I don't have to. In this particular case, I'm going to choose my training series category. Now step three is to select the resources that I'd like to add to this smart pack. You'll notice that I have the same filtering options that I had on that main page. Since I'm creating a training pack, I may want to filter my resources based off the category. So I'm going to select the training series category, and that will only show me the resources that are assigned to that particular category, making it very easy for me to add the resources to this pack. So I'm going to go ahead and add my using tags video, my contact manager video, maybe I want to put a link in here, my get your account link here, maybe a PowerPoint and an audio training. Now I didn't add everything because I may want to create a series of smart packs that I send out to my clients. Now once I've selected all of the resources that I want included in this smart pack, I'm going to click on the save button. We'll see that the smart pack has been saved. And if we go back to the Smart Sender homepage, we'll now see the Phone Burner Training Series number one Smart Pack is there and ready for us to share. From this main view, 
We can preview smart packs as well as individual resources. We can always go back in and edit a smart pack or a resource. We can also view the sharing options for a smart pack or a resource. So if we click on the share button, we'll see that we have the option to send to contacts, generate a link, or share it on any one of the social media platforms out there. Now that we've talked about adding resources, creating packs, let's talk about the best way to use this within PhoneBurner. Obviously, you can click on this to send to contacts. I want to show you how to add this to one of your email templates so it goes out automatically when you're doing a dial session. So let's go to the Dial Sessions tab. We're going to go to Phone Burner Settings. We're going to go to the Message Library. And you can add a smart pack or resource to any one of your existing emails by clicking on Edit. Or you can create a new one-touch email. I'm going to create a new one-touch email real quick. So we're going to click on the Add New One-Touch Email button. We're going to select the contact types. We're going to select all categories. Name. We're going to name this Training Series Number 1. Subject line, this is your first training. Now we're going to quickly create an email. We're going to personalize the email by putting in the contact's first name. Now to add a pack, it's very simple. You just click on this little pack icon. That'll bring up this little window where you can choose a smart pack or a resource. Once again, you got the same filtering options that you normally do. So I'm going to go ahead and filter by my training series. And I want to use my phone burner training series number one. I'm going to hit add. And the system automatically created a clickable link to this email. So now I just need to close out the email. I can use personalization codes. Once I'm done with the email, I hit Save Changes. Now this email is ready for me to use. I can either assign it to a specific disposition button and have it go out automatically from the Dial Session window, or I can go to the Contacts, click on a particular contact, click on Send Email, and I can choose my Training Series number 1 email from the list of pre-written emails. Once I do that, the system will automatically populate the email, and I just need to send it to my contact. I want to point out how the system tracks individual resources as well as the smart pack. So if you click on the activity tab, you'll see all of the activity for that specific contact, which will include all of the smart sender tracking. So in this particular case, you can see that this contact viewed a smart pack, started watching a video, and finished the video. I can click to see which smart pack this particular contact had viewed. And here you can see I sent this particular contact an emailing and phone burner smart pack that had an audio, a video, and an image. Now before we close out this smart sender training, I want to point out a couple other things to you. So we're going to go back to the smart sender tab. And in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see this button that has a little gear wheel on it. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go to the profile. The profile page will actually allow you to edit what your contacts see when they go to view a pack or a resource. You can even upload a logo for branding when people view your smart packs. So if we go back to the smart sender page, and let's go ahead and preview this new smart pack that we created. So you'll see that there's no logo here. There's no phone burner branding in the smart sender. You'll notice my name and the phone burner is listed over here, but that's that's only because I use phone burner as my company name. All of my social network information is listed here got my videos. Let's go ahead and add a logo so you can see what that looks like. So I'm going to go back to the profile and I'm going to select the phone burner logo and I'm going to save my profile. Once I do that, if I go back and refresh the smart pack page, you'll see the logo is now displayed at the top of the smart pack page. Once again, this logo is controlled by you. So if you want to have your own company logo up here, you just need to add it to your smart sender profile. Now there's one more thing that I do want to point out for advanced users. So we're going to go back to the smart sender homepage. Under the little gear wheel here, you'll see an option called retargeting. If you or your company use retargeting with your marketing, you can use your retargeting within phone burner using the smart sender. You just need to come here to the retargeting page and add the code necessary for that to happen. I hope this training has been helpful for you. Once again, our phone burner pricing, we have a 7.5 hour plan for $67.50 a month, and our unlimited plan is $149 a month. Now, if you are looking for multi-user accounts, just let me know and I can get you some specific pricing. Uh, we do offer discounts based off the total number of users you need. If you don't have a phone burner account, go get one at phoneburner.biz and happy dialing.